we can record. Okay, so the tools all based on Markdown. So if you just write Markdown, um, you are able, just one second, you're able to, to edit. Um, so like, let me show you this file right here, right? So this file, as soon as you type into anything, like if I wanted to change this to, let's just go up here and I wanna be like abstracts, it actually auto detects like your changes. So if I hit this, oh look, abstracts, right? If I wanted to change it back, like I could easily do that. It's, it basically watches, uses Gulp and watches your, uh, your keystrokes. And so it automatically changes everything in response. So when you edit, you get to see like a live, a live edit of it. Um, and unlike respec, it's not like, you know, in page JavaScript doing this. So it like always has this horrific, like loading thing that you can kind of see with respec taking like a long time to snap to. Um, the other thing is it has a ton more features. The only dependency is you just have to do NPM install npm run spec right and then it just does all of these things it does its watching it brings everything up for you um, it's got all the same you know things you would consider you know with respec it's got code examples with richer highlighting um, it's got you know tables that respec doesn't have you know this 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 is the code that generates this table um, you know i guess it's just showing off but you could play chess if you wanted to because that's easy I can do flowchart diagrams, which don't exist in respec because a lot of different things like um, didcoms, I suspect we'll use this and we're gonna use it for uh, presentation exchange to show you know, um, these sorts of things. And it's nice not to have to manage assets, right? Like go to some other tool to generate your flowchart and then paste it in as an image. And then whenever that changes, you gotta go back to that other tool. It's nice that it's just in text. Like it's, it's kind of cool, right? If you need charts, I don't know. Is that a feature of spec up or of markdown? Uh, um, this is, what is so what I did with spec up was basically, um, I, there's this thing called markdown dot it, markdown dash it. It's a package in NPM and the basic markdown, you know, language it supports, but then there's all these plugins that you can add. And so I basically collected a set of plugins that enable this and, um, and in integrated them so that when it does its render, you can just write these little like blocked handlers and like treat, you know, a certain section of writing and it'll render and, and do that. It basically uses the plugin. It says, oh, this is mermaid. So it's a sequence diagram. Um, so I, I just integrated that. Same thing with charts, right? It'll pick up charts. Like you can do bar charts. You can do like statistical stuff, like anything you want. Um, syntax highlighting um, is there. You can have panels and stuff. Um, it's got like a mobile display. So if you wanted to do like simple mobile uh, stuff, it's all there. This is like, looks atrocious in respec, of course. Um, it, it has GitHub, so it'll pull in your issues. Like if you just want to see like latest issues, they're just right there. You know, obviously respect is nothing like that, but you know, it's easy to make these changes. And it's, you know, I wrote the thing in two days. So I don't know what these respect people were doing, but clearly like not much um, for 20 years. I don't know. He said, all these spec tools, they make you write in a single file, which when you write, you know, like a change, it'll show a conflict in one big file. So if there's like 50 people editing a file, you get lots of conflicts. So he had asked me a while ago, and this took like another two days of work, which, you know, was like given the whole project took two, two days, took a little while um, to separate it so that you can actually have sections be in different files. So there's also this multi file. Um, let me, I can. You know, show you this, but there's this multi-file capability where you can split up the files into their sections. So like you see it's in abstract getting started, like the major sections can actually be their own files. And what that does is lets you just edit one file so that the conflicts are constrained to a single file. Like if you're editing abstract while some other person's editing, whatever, you're not going to have a Git conflict and have to like repull and then merge your stuff together because they're actually in separate files. And what SpecUp does is just goes through and will take these files and, and assemble them uh, in, according to how you've set it up. So here's like basically the config is you say, here's the markdown paths and it, you just put them in order. Like if you have a multi-file version like the didcoms folks do, um, you just put them in whatever order you want it to render it in and then it'll go grab those and it'll stick them in that exact order in the page. Um, so that's like another thing that he asked me to do, but. But, but respec supports that too, right? Daniel Hartman's uh, peer did, did method specification does that too. There are all these different sections and different files and then yeah. considering that as one, one single uh, document. Yeah. Spec up. 
So like if, if you if I scroll here, and this is mostly just the HTML template right here. So that kind of doesn't count. That's just like a bunch of strings. Inter internal logic is like 150 lines. So like this, this is all of the entire tool right here. So if like I get hit by a bus and like people can't figure out 150 lines of code, like I'm just like, I don't know, probably bigger problems with the community, but um, that's, yes, yeah, so I'm happy to talk to them. For sure. <laughs> okay.